I'm Larry with Under the Bridge Flies, and we're going to tie a Bow River Killer. It's a little streamer fly I found online. Uh, it had really good reviews, so I figured uh, a lot of people really liked it when I uh, posted one online, so I figured we'd do a video of it and show you how it's tied. It's a real simple, simple tie. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is... Uh, you can use uh, any streamer hook. This is a uh, size four, and it'll work with, I mean, six, eight, whatever your waters are, you know, requiring. If you want a bigger one, go size two. Uh, it's a really cool pattern. Uh, I hear that, uh, I read rather, that the browns, bows, and steelhead just slam this fly, so I figured it was worth a shot, so here it is. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of lead on there, and I'm using a .025 lead wire. Um, the barbell lie that I'm using actually helps weigh it down, so, but the lead is, helps build the body up because you want it thicker at the front than in the back, so we're going to get that little bit of lead wire put on there, and then we'll just start our UTC red is the color thread that you want to use on this fly and once you get that started up front just go ahead and grab a hold of that and we're just going to build it up a little bit get rid of that bump that's in the thread there and cover that up some get that lead covered up so you're making a nice taper body to where it's going to be thicker on the front than it is the back here and you see how I just keep moving back each time I go down pretty much you don't want to build up a whole lot around that head kind of concentrate on this area here to get rid of that big bump and get that to have a nice taper all the way to the back. Now the next thing we're gonna do is put in a hackle feather. Now on the patterns that I found it uses this hackle feather with the black stripe in the middle, tan and tannish brown on the outsides of it. So you just wanna grab two of those and you wanna put them side by side with the color facing out. I got a couple of them there so There we go. I had about three or four in there. Didn't realize it. So once you get those set side by side, and we're gonna make that about as long as our hook shank. So what you just split the difference on those two. Put one on each side when you start tying them in, and just go ahead and get those situated. Get your once you uh, get them where you want them. Go ahead and lock it down real good and trim it off right there behind the lead and that's going to help with your transition between the lead and the hook shank so now you should start seeing a little bit thicker body up front there you go all righty all right next thing you want to slide in there is a piece of utc uh, i'm using small silver wire and just start that and put it right on the side. Get her tied in real good and get her clamped down. So, and just put it back out of your way. All right, so the next thing we're gonna tie in is a piece of uh, UV purple chewy skin. Now, this chewy skin is made by D or comes from dsflies.com. Check your local fly shops first, of course. They might be able to order this stuff for you. If not, you can get right on their website, and they got tons of colors. And this stuff is amazing for scuds, by the way. Uh, UV purple scuds with this purple that I'm using now. Oh, man, the rainbows just love those. And the pink, too. Man, wintertime especially. Yeah, good stuff right here. Um, just got to be a little bit careful with it because it's not like the normal chewy skin that you use or the normal thin skin. I mean, this stuff's like rubber and it really splays out once you start wrapping it. So 
watch the head of your flies when you're putting that in because it'll just splay out right over the top of it and it's kind of tough to cut so but trim you off a piece about an eighth inch wide and get that started tied in there and this stuff stretches really good so and you see how I'm just going down the side of it there once I start tying that in and get her tied down real good but, so now just move your thread up to the front and if you see any real bad bumps in there go ahead and my vise came a little loose there and we're just going to tie this go ahead and start wrapping this up and just kind of go side by side and no gaps you know just keep it and you can stretch this stuff real good so and it lays down real nice as well so you don't won't have too much problem with it but try to just go side by side all the way up once you get up to the front there just uh, about where you started your lead just go ahead and tie it off and like I said just uh, watch your eye on with this stuff when you're tying other flies if you're not keeping that back and it'll really see how that just kind of <laughs> stuff displays all over the place simple all right next thing I'm gonna put in is a lead eye and I'm just using a gold barbell um, you can use bead chain barbell whatever you you know prefer on this and actually I think I'm going to put a little bit larger barbell on it than what I had in my hand or bead eyes if you have bead eyes you can put those on there um, put it on the bottom that way the weights distributed to where the flies floats you know with the hook point pointing down get that once you get that in there right on the bottom tie it in of course you can rotate your vise if you want to if it's easier for you but once you get her tied in start tying it in real good then it'll stay pretty easily you want to get that right up to the front of that fly it's where you got a nice red head on there and all right so move your thread right to the back of it um, don't worry about gluing your eyes or anything down yet take another one of your feathers and basically you're going to just uh, pull off the back side because the longer feathers are going to be up front snip that stem off and go ahead and tie that in right behind the eye get her good and locked down there don't worry about your stem sticking over much if you got you know a little bit over it's not that big a deal because you build it up and all that good stuff so grab a hold of it with your hackle pliers and I'm using these D-ring hackle pliers that a guy at one of our project tilling water group gave me uh, <laughs> these things are great by the way so um, they're on Amazon for they're like 10 bucks for these and they're the best hackle pliers I've ever used so but go ahead and start winding it back and you know good sections there once you get back to the back grab a hold of your wire it's just like a regular woolly bugger and we're just going to go around it two times on the back the first one even on your woolly burgers bring out wire around twice so it really holds that feather in real good on the back side because that's where the fish is hitting it you know mostly and then just start wiggling your wire up front and uh, you're actually going across the stem so you're locking all that hackle down to where it won't get uh, tore up as fast um, Hopefully it gets tore up pretty quick because that means you're catching a lot of fish with the fly. So, <laughs> but we'll get that locked in there and go ahead and get your wire up to the front. And once you get it up front, go ahead and do it again. Wrap it around. I always go around a couple times and that way when I capture it, I know that I got a nice solid, I know what's in there real good. And you just helicopter it out once you get her locked down. 
if it will <laughs> helicopter out rather <laughs> there it goes <laughs> and we're just going to clean up our head a little bit move that stuff out cover up that stem a little bit more do some more wraps counterclockwise around our head and throw a whip finish on it and of course zap a gap I said this is a fairly easy tie so um, I think the color is the biggest part make sure you zap a gap that head real good um, get up underneath and get your barbell and that's it that is the bow killer the bow river killer I'm sorry and that's it anyway hope you enjoyed the video I'll get a bunch more on my channel check them out um, I put some on from time to time don't forget to trim off your little extra that you had <laughs> but that's a bow river killer and it's a real simple fly to tie um, if you tie one up tag me on Facebook if you paste it or put it up on Facebook tag me so I can uh, see your pattern and uh, if you catch any fish definitely tag me because I like to see the fish that this thing catches anyway thanks for watching